Most of America was amazed on November 8, 2016. That's when Donald J. Trump was elected president, despite the predictions of the mainstream media. But Mark Taylor was not surprised. He foresaw the upset over five years earlier. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Miraculous is a great word to describe Donald Trump's victory, or to put it another way, an act of God. In just a few days, America will be exposed to the inside story as the Trump Prophecies movie hits theaters October 2nd and 4th. Mark Taylor would shy away from the term prophet in describing himself, and like Amos in the Old Testament, neither was he the son of a prophet. But Mark, like his grandfather and father before him, was a firefighter. Mark, why did you retire from your profession while still a young man? Well, I did 20 years on the job and retired out. I just got to a point where I was burned out. You know, I was at a lot of busy stations. One station I was at, we turned 12,000 calls a year out of that one fire station alone. I was just completely and totally burned out. You know, I had started getting sick probably about two years before I left. And I just felt like God was calling me to do something different. So I retired out in 2006. That's where everything just kind of took off from there. I don't think a lot of people realize that's an occupational hazard for a firefighter. And uh, chronic sickness is often a time to seek God, perhaps even more earnestly than when we're feeling well. Tell us what happened that day when you were watching Fox News and Donald Trump was discussing his ideas on international currency policies. I was sitting in front of the TV listening to Mr. Trump talking about different things, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I just heard the voice of the Lord saying, you're hearing the voice of a president. So I came in here to my converted bedroom to an office, and I sat down, put pen to paper like the Apostle Paul, and just wrote down everything that the Holy Spirit was telling me. And that was April 28, 2011, which was when the Commander-in-Chief Prophecy was born. You originally thought Mr. Trump would unseat Obama in 2012, but that never happened. What's your understanding of the so-called delay? He never announced he was running, and if you read the Commander-in-Chief Prophecy, it says when he announces he's running, it'll be like a shot heard around the world. He never said he was going to run. He was just toying with the idea. When it did not happen, I asked the Lord, Lord, did I miss this? And he said, no, Mark. All this was supposed to happen in 2012. But he said, my people were not ready. They needed another four years of Obama and that administration to get a fighting spirit, so to speak. They needed something within them to rise up and say, enough is enough. We're not going to take this anymore and to go into battle. And that's what happened. And God turned and formed a miracle November 8th. It also took a prayer movement to stop the apparently unstoppable force of Hillary Clinton. What was involved in that? Well, my co-author, Mary Colbert, started a prayer call about 60 days before the election actually took place. And what we did is we had one person would pray for 15 minutes while we had 10,000 people on the line at one time. So we had a lot of power and agreement right there with 10,000 on the line. So we would pray for 15 minutes, and we would do that every day until the election took place. Do you foresee a second term for President Trump? Yes, absolutely. Prophetically speaking, what are some of the upcoming highlights we can expect in the next six years, including a possible overthrow of Roe versus Wade? Roe versus Wade, I believe, will definitely be overturned. God has spoken it. We'll see five Supreme Court justices. The court will be reformed. I wrote a prophecy called Energy Energy, and it said that Israel and America would become the number one energy producers in the world. And part of that prophecy is already coming to pass. They released an article, Breitbart did, saying that America is now the number one oil producer in the world. Wow. Who would have expected that except somebody that could hear the voice of God? Let's talk about the movie now. I believe you saw at least part of it, the trailer, maybe a little bit of it. How does it feel to see your life unfold before the cameras? It's very humbling, to say the least. I think that God would use someone like me, a retired firefighter, and we'd use my story to change the masses, so to speak. This is very humbling. Sounds like our audience has a lot to look forward to when the movie hits theaters. I'd like to thank you, Mark, for taking a few minutes for bringing us up to speed today. Well, thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here. Mark Taylor is co-author of The Trump Prophecies. The movie version of his book will be in theaters October 2nd and 4th. Also, you can read Mark's prophetic words at swordrescue.com. That's spelled S-O-R-D-R-E-S-C-U-E dot com. 
This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. Thank you.